Have you ever went to see your favorite musician perform and wondered what that magical instrument was they were using? Did you ever wonder how it made such a beautiful sound? Or have you ever walked into your local guitar shop only to feel like you were in the musical equivalent of a jet propulsion lab? If you answered yes to any of those questions, fear not the unknown. I am here to save you. Today, I'm going to tell you all about acoustic guitars, how they work, and I'm going to give you a little bit of detail about each component. I have my guitar with me today to show you, but I've also brought my ukulele so that I can give you close-ups because ukuleles and guitars, they work pretty similarly, just different number of strings. So I'm going to start by get, like, just by giving you the overall idea of how a guitar works, and then I'm going to tell you about each of the components. So to start with, a guitar has three main components that make up how it works. The first component are the strings. Whenever you have a string, if you hold it at a certain tension, and depending on its length, it's going to vibrate at a certain frequency. The tighter the string is, the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch, you know, the higher the note, and the lower the frequency, the, you know, the less you have it tightened, the lower the pitch is going to be. So the second component that we have for the guitar is the body. The body is what grabs those vibrations from the strings. Um, it holds on to them and brings us to our third component, which is air, the air inside the guitar. So the body is going to vibrate that air, and then the air is going to oscillate in between uh, you know, the bottom and the top here and the sides, and it's going to produce that beautiful timbre that you're used to hearing, and it's especially responsible for the lower frequencies that you hear of the guitar. So now that I've given you an idea, um, kind of built a foundation to start from for how the guitar works, I'm going to take you from the top to the bottom and name each of the parts for you. So starting here at the top, we have what is commonly referred to as the headstock of the guitar. On the headstock, we have these little guys here. These are our tuning machines, and I will bring you ukulele close to show you as well. Headstock tuning machines. You can see they, they turn. I'm not going to turn this too much. I don't want to bring my ukulele out of tune but you, you, know, you get the idea there. And over, you know, you, we're just following the strings down. If we go over that, we have this guy here. This is called the nut. And again, I'll bring this close for you to see. This nut is gonna have a little ridge where each of the strings are. That just helps keep your strings in line as they make their way over. So after we get past the nut, we have this area here. This is called your fretboard. And your fretboard is on the front side here, and this is all connected to this entire piece here, which is called the neck. It's the neck of the guitar. <laughs> That's your neck. So on here, um, we have each of these little frets. Uh, they're little metal, they're little metal pieces. I'll bring this again close for you to see. We have our little metal pieces there. So when you put your finger on each of these, you can see it's going to make it get higher up because these little frets are shortening the length of this string. So it's gonna vibrate at a higher frequency. So you see how that works. So these go all the way down. We also have our inlays here. I'll show you just closely on here. We have our inlays. They just kind of help you know which fret you're at quickly. They're on three, five, seven, 10, and 12. Pretty simple. So after we move down from our fretboard, we follow the strings down. They're gonna go over this, which is our sound hole. The sound hole, picks up some of the vibration of those strings as well and then it is also the area that pushes out pushes that air out after it has built up inside here so it just helps up it kind of works like an amp it just amplifies the sound so after we bring the strings down we're going to come down to the bottom here where it attaches to the body uh, this piece right here is called our bridge Bridge is where the strings go in. Looks a little bit different on, you know, whether you have acoustic, electric arrangement, but almost all, it's always called the bridge. On here, you can see on my ukulele, it looks like this. So, on both of these, you're gonna see that it comes over this little guy. This little guy is called the saddle. It actually works just like the nut does. It has little ridges in there. If I can get close enough to show you, I'd probably not. It's got little ridges in there that help keep those strings in line. Now on the ukulele, you're gonna see these strings are just tied off down here at the ends. But on our acoustic guitar, we have these little guys here. They're called bridge pins, and they just hold each string in place. 
just hold it down in there. Keep it from snapping up and causing some damage. So I'll go over all the parts once again. We start with our headstock up here, this whole guy. We have our tuning machines, we have our nut, and this whole guy is the fretboard, and these are our frets. And we have the back, the strings come down over our sound hole, and we have our bridge, saddle, which is this guy, our bridge pins, and this whole thing is the body. So hopefully that has helped bring you from maybe beginning beginning guitar enthusiast to intermediate guitar enthusiast. I'd say expert would take a little bit longer time than we have here today. Uh, but hopefully that'll help you. You know, so next time Guitar Dan's telling you about his new six string, you can compliment him on his beautiful rose fretboard and he'll be happy to know that you've taken an interest in something that he loves. All right.